back of our house has been transformed by the addition of a few things. We've got these beautiful corner stairs with the Epe treads. We've got a new porch, and this is going to be completely screened in. And then we have the deck itself, a big space, also clad with the Epe, a great species to choose, Tommy, for a deck. Although for the railing system, you obviously went with a different species, cedar. Right. Well, the 4x4 four four posts are cedar, and the cap is going to be a 2x6 cedar. Yeah. And for a ballast system, we're actually going to use horizontal cables to fill in that space. Really? So no wooden vertical balusters? Right. That's a look the architect is looking for. All right. Well, it's kind of a sleek modern look, right? Yeah, you've seen this before. It's a stainless steel cable. Now, lots of times you see it used with a metal post. Right. But we're drilling holes through our posts and using those instead. But before we install this cable, I have to put the rest of this top cap on here right. because this is going to hold all the posts nice and straight so when we tighten up the cable, they won't move. So two more sections, one going right. from here to here and then one from here to here. Right. Now this is a, just a 2 by 6 that we've cut on a bevel to oh, shed yeah. the water. Right. And I actually have to cut a couple of slots in it for floating tenants. To get the bevel on my top railing, I'll set my saw at 8 degrees. Then I'll run the piece through two times. That will get me a point at the center. I'll fine tune the rough cut with my sand. This is a 90 degree corner. That's an easy angle to get. Right. Now this one we have to bisect the angle. Uh -huh. So I'm going to line this edge up right here with this railing and you're going to center it on that post there. Centered. Okay, now the easiest way to get this angle is to take a scrap piece of wood, make sure it's parallel, uh -huh. lay it on top. Oh, look at you. Just line up the miter right here and draw a line right there. So you're just transferring a parallel line over right. this. Now all I do is take my speed square and I read that angle, which is 21 degrees. So I'll set my saw and cut it. Now I want to put the mortises in each miter. To do that, I'm going to use my mortising machine. I'll use a little bit of glue in each joint before I put the pieces together. Good. To fasten the railing to the post, I'm going to pre-drill holes and then use a stainless steel screw. Perfect. To conceal the screw and fill the holes, I'm going to insert some bungs, cut them off, and sand them flush. Okay, our railing is in place, and now we're ready to install the safety system, the cable. Now, whenever you're building a railing system that is higher than 30 inches off the ground, the balusters, or in this case, the cables, can't be spaced more than four inches on center. Basically, to prevent the child from getting their head through there. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I measured from here down to the top of the deck, and I divided that distance, equidistance, over the run, making sure that I'm less than four inches apart. Perfect. Okay? So I then made a template making my holes equal that I can guide my drill. Yeah, interesting. So just measure once and use this all the way that's, along. That's right. So I make it even with the edge of the post and I take my drill and drill through it. Okay, we're ready to start installing the cable. Now the manufacturer installs this end right here on one of the cables, mm -hmm. and that's so we can put tension on it once we've installed it. They also have a washer and a nut. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide this through the post and we're going to just catch the thread. Once we've installed the cable through the end and fastened it on the other end, then we can put the tension on the cable using this end. All right. Now I just want to start the nut. Tight spot, huh? Yeah. Okay, we start going through the holes. Just thread it through? Yep. It's like thread the needle, right? Yep. 
All right, that's okay. through the last post. All right, now let me get it tight there. Now you want to hold it nice and tight. Now I want to put a one-way clamp on that end. Once we slide this on the cable with the washer, we won't be able to get it off. So when I slide it on there like that, it locks on, but it won't come off. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to push that right in the hole. You're going to put tension on the cable, and I'll slide it in. Yeah. Keep it tight now. Yeah. Push that in. Pull it nice and tight. All right, we only have 10 more to run. Now we've pulled the cables as tight as we can manually. Now what we need to do is tighten up these threads one at a time to put tension on them. Okay. Just start nipping them off. Cut them off as tight as you can. Now we're just going to finish it off with these little caps right here that will hide the end of the cable. Look at that. Push them off. And so all this end hardware here is stainless steel too, obviously, Tommy, so it right. holds up. Now these are held on right inside. There's a little O-ring. When I push it on, the O-ring snaps in the groove around there, and that holds it right in place. Nice. Nothing's going to rust. Keeps the weather out. Yep. Okay, that's it. All right, good luck. Yes, so we got is. ourselves a nice wide top rail. Sturdy posts and a cabling system so nobody falls off this deck. Right, and the spacing's close enough so it all meets code. Perfect. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.